My name is Munyango Victoria. I'm coming from Bububi Village, Bububi Parish, Zlobe Sub County in Luel District. I'm here purposely for CILIO training. I learned a lot of things and among those things, I learned the different maize varieties. We had long one, long two edge, long three edge, among others. And in those varieties, I learned that every maize variety has a different maturity period. Short seasons, I will go with longer one because it takes 115 days. Long seasons, I will go with longer two edge because it takes longer seasons. And I also learned that there are <clears throat> maize varieties which can be replanted and there are other maize varieties that cannot be replanted. Another thing that I learned is ways of applying manure in soil. When do you need to apply, to, to start planting maize after applying what? Manure. First of all, <clears throat> I learned that after digging your basins, you apply your manure, you take two weeks before planting in the what? The seeds. So after, plant, after two weeks, you plant the what? The seeds. Then they'll be good to go. Another thing that I learned is the things that cause soil infertility and things that also help soil to regain their fertility. For example, <clears throat> one thing that I learned that causes soil infertility, there is lynching, there is deforestation. Cause deforestation, you may ask me, how does deforestation cause soil infertility? So there is planting of trees. When you plant your trees and you also plant other plants like maize down there, these trees act as windbreakers. So when you cut them, they will damage the soil and it will also do it, affect the plants. And these trees, they provide these dry leaves. These dry leaves add soil nutrients. So when you cut them, it will be something affecting the plant. So other things that I learned that add, as in, as in nutrients in the soil, or how can land regain its fertility? There is mulching covering the land with weeds, eh, which are red bindag. You can also practice contour plowing. There is intercropping, among others. Today, in the symposium, we have got an opportunity that they have brought for us different people, different personalities from different sectors, but still in the, in the agriculture sector. So those people have equipped us with knowledge. How can we plant? How can we harvest such things? How can we reach the market? What are the qualities of good maize? Because we are here mainly for maize cereals, right? Yes. And they have also given us knowledge. How can you start little things with little capital still in maize? department. The things that I was doing wrong, first of all, as in planting, planting any holly, like I could dig my basins and then I apply manure, like after two days I plant. So here we've been equipped with knowledge. After digging, as in after putting manure in the, in the basins, at least it take two weeks then you apply the what? The maize. By things have been growing by God's grace, some have been affected. You could just see them. But now, since we came here, since I came here, I've discovered where the problem was and what I'm supposed to do. Another thing, another thing that I wasn't doing in our place or in our village or in our district, there is a way of storing what? The, the maize grains. After harvesting them, we could just put them in the in the store or any alley. But I've learned here that you can put them in the granary, in the crib, 
such things like that and they can be well stored for a long period of time now since i've acquired knowledge from here there are many <coughs> outgoers that you are aware of 100 that are behind me i've acquired knowledge from good leisure farm so i'm going to go back and call upon my my fellow colleagues and i tell them what i've acquired from here so they have to change that they were doing wrong and go with what is right so my fellow youths i know you are watching me i'm encouraging you to work hard it is better to work at an early stage so you people i know you can do it you can do it you may see farming as something funny but it is something that is so productive and another thing is you have to believe in yourself when you're doing things. Things can move on. Don't get worried. Don't fear to start. Just start. Just start. Things will move on. Just start. So a message I give to Good Leisure Farm. First of all, I appreciate Good Leisure Farm for welcoming all the youths in Uganda. Those people, they have a very good heart that they are welcoming. Not that we pay them, no, we come here at no cost, they feed us, they, they cater for us, everything. I really appreciate the good services that they really render to us. And I pray that God bless them in whatever they do, their families, and keep that heart that they are doing.